Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. As I promised last time, I'm going to talk about that one thing a good pitcher can bring to the field that will make that good pitcher 10 to 15 percent better. What is that one thing? It's a great catcher. One of the examples that I gave was how to make a 17 inch wide strike zone or a 17 inch wide home plate. For those of you who don't know, your plate is 17 inches wide. That is the width of your strike zone. High and low is going to be a little different. It's going to be, it's going to vary. If you're facing a six foot tall uh, batter or you're facing a five foot two batter, the up down portion of the strike zone is going to differ. But in out doesn't, unless you have a great catcher. Now before we get into this, I'm going to try to explain to you how you do this subtly because an umpire may be a pain in the neck to you, but they're not stupid. So if your movements are exaggerated or your movements are not subtle or you don't set your body up correctly as a catcher, you're not going to be able to. And we're not really trying to fool the umpire. We're trying to persuade the umpire to see the ball where we want the umpire to see the ball. I'm just going to give you a quick example before I bring my catcher in here. If I get down into catcher's position and I set up two inches off the outside corner, or off the inside corner, sorry, and that's where I'd like to get the batter to swing at the ball. And the batter will have to swing at that pitch two inches off the inside or two inches off the outside corner if the umpire is calling it a strike there. So when I receive the ball, one thing I don't want to do as a catcher is I don't want to receive the ball and bring my hand in this way. That movement is not subtle and it will not fool an umpire. So if I know I want an inside corner pitch, I'm going to move my body to that spot and then when I catch the ball in that same spot, a tiny movement is going to bring it into the strike zone. Same thing on the outside corner. If I'm set up two inches off the outside corner of the plate and that ball comes here, if my body's behind it, all I have to do is turn my wrist and show the umpire that ball in the inside corner and very often I'm going to get that call. Jillian, here's my catcher. This is the player on the field that does my thinking. When I'm in the eight foot circle, here's where my brain is, not here. My, my catcher does my thinking, I execute the pitch. Jillian's going to get down, I'm going to throw her some pitches, and I'm going to show you what I mean by persuading the umpire. Can't see me, but you can hear me. Jillian, off the inside corner. Good job. Off the inside corner. I got to make the pitches. Off the inside corner. Excellent. Now that ball was about two inches off the inside corner and Jillian is showing the umpire right on the inner quarter of that plate. Let's try it on the outside. Off the outside corner. Excellent. Quick, subtle movement. Showing the umpire where you want the umpire to see the ball. Outside corner. Sorry, right down the middle. Let's try it again. I'm not as good as I used to be. Outside corner. Excellent. Let's look at a little bit high and low. High pitch. Good job. High pitch. Good job. Bring it down an inch or two, and it brings it under the letters. Low pitch. Low pitch. Very, very nice. You can see where a good catcher who receives that ball and controls it, the less movement you have in your glove as a catcher, the more you're going to sell the umpire on the pitch that that pitcher threw where she wanted to throw it, or better yet, where your catcher wanted you to throw it, the more you're going to persuade the umpire that that ball was in the strike zone. Small, subtle movements. Go out and get the ball. Don't let the ball take your hand in one direction or another. The more you move that club, even if you throw the ball 
right down the middle of the plate or inner third or outer third when you're set up to catch it in a different spot and you have to move your glove a long way, you're likely that you're not going to get that call. Let your catcher do your thinking. Next time, we're going to demonstrate how a great catcher can read a hitter's weaknesses and strengths having never seen that hitter. It's been great talking to you. Always thank your catcher because she will make you 10 to 15% better. Thank you, catcher. Talk to you next time.